now let's look at some other interesting thing which is going to be connecting to web so web scraping basically using power bi so let me find out some nice wikipedia page which would be easy to scrape okay so now we have this wikipedia link and it is just giving the population by countries so if you go down here in the link you will see that it has various tables and tables are something that are easy for us to import so okay this looks good this looks to be an easy page which can be imported okay so a pretty huge table then there's some other information over here as well so there's lots of information on this page <coughs> but there's this table which looks interesting to me and which has the data that i want right let me go a little slow so it basically has the countries ranked in the order of their population in descending manner so china, the country with the uh, highest population is ranked one which is china then india united states and so on it has a percentage of the world population your dates your sources and so on so it has plenty of information which is useful probably for my analysis so i want to import this data directly from the wikipedia link okay so now what can i do let's see okay let me first copy this url so this is what i would need to be able to connect to this page now next step go back to power bi and go back to our option of get data so get data in this case i do have the web option right here available easily so i'm going to select the web option and once i select the web option i get the basic or the advanced options in the basic i just need to enter the url so i can copy the url which i have just uh, copied from the website for now let's just go with basic simple easy okay and paste the url that we just copied so control v this is a url for the wikipedia site for the countries with the highest population let's say okay and once we say okay you will see that there was a connecting uh, pop-up pane that open and then it is it has gone to navigator directly and it's taking some time to generate a preview and you can see that there are different options over here it has generated a preview it has been able to identify all the data on this web page so we'll see the table view before that if we just hover on the web view so web view is simply the website okay so this was the web view okay and now going back to the table view we can see that there are two html tables it has identified then there are some more suggested tables that it is um uh, it has given us and then you can see also that there is an option called add table using examples so this is for um letting or training power bi to scrape data in a particular fashion from the web pages if it is not as easily arranged as in forms of html tables okay so this we'll see again in one of the later sessions this is more advanced web scraping for now simple let's uh, let's do a preview of the tables and see which one is most relevant for us so this is the first html table uh, it's the same one that we were seeing and all these uh, various tags that you see over here right within square brackets they are nothing but uh, they are some html links and tags which are there on the uh, web page so we would need to clean them up actually if we decide to load this data we would need to clean this these tags away and here as well see you have these various links it is basically these html links and tags which we might not be wanting in our data we want to uh, take them out okay so this this seems to be useful for us let's oh, quickly navigate to the other tables as well just to see what they have this is something something okay this doesn't make much sense to us there's a lot of data concatenated some other suggested tables that is has built up this is the same table okay so what it has done here is it has actually taken the tags out see there's created another column and it has taken the tags out it has and here it has taken only the tags from this column it has done some transformation on its own created another table on its own 
let's see what does in table three uh, created kind of an index table that these might also be useful to us actually between the way so for now let's just go with the simple table that we have and which is useful for us which is this table and it has the column headers uh, uh, properly set up and so on so we can just say load over here and go back to power bi and this is going to give you all these messages where it is trying to load the data through the data model and now if we go to the very right we can see that one more data source has been added which is sovereign states and dependencies right and it has all these different uh, um, these are nothing but uh, different attributes which are used in the tables over here so now if i go to home and I go back to transform data it is going to uh, open another window which is going to be my power query editor window i can select the data from this table so okay you can see over here and you can do all your transformations you can apply your transformations over here so let's select this and go to add column and again let's try column from examples so we are going to just type the value of china over here okay and it is going to remove all those tags okay so now it has it knows that it needs to remove the link so that is what it is going to do and this is a transformation that has been applied as we can correctly see over here Okay, so these basic transformations you can apply either using uh, explicitly going and applying the transformations. If they're pretty straightforward, you can use column from examples. Okay, or you can just go and apply these transformations as well. Now let's go to this date column and see what, uh, sorry, date column and go to home and try to see what data type is as interpreted so the data type is text though we know that these figures are uh, dates so let's try changing this to date if it allows us so let's just say date we don't have a time component so let's just say date and it would be changed to the date data type as you can see so sometimes when it is not able to correctly identify the data type of the imported data you can just go to your home tab and it would also be an option in your transform tab you can just go to date over here and oh, this is basically to extract the date detect data type data type you can change your data type from here so these are different options in your data types decimal numbers so and so on most of the time it's going to correctly interpret but if it is not able to correctly interpret then you can just go to the data type and explicitly define the data type that you want that particular column to be in and then power bi will correctly change it to a date format